OpenAI just released an update giving users more control over their chat history, while quietly launching a new browsing feature. Hugging Face released a brand new open source chat platform aiming to compete with ChatGPT itself. Adobe's new toolset, Firefly, is set to roll out even more AI tools to take video editing to the next level. Runway ML launched their first ever iPhone app, granting users access to their Gen 1 video to video generative AI model. According to the latest news from OpenAI, you can now turn off chat history in ChatGPT. Sounds great, right? But hold on, there's a catch. This only applies to conversations that were started after chat history is disabled. So what about your existing conversations? Well, by default, they will still be used to train their new models. But how does this work? And what can you do about it? It's actually quite simple. All you have to do is click on the three dots at the bottom left of a chat GPT conversation, then go to settings and show. Here's where it starts to get interesting. OpenAI has linked together chat history and model training. It's both or neither. They could have given two separate options, one to store your chat history so that you can look back over it later, and another to opt out of training. But instead, it's one button. You either give them your data and keep your chats, or you don't give them your data, and you don't keep your chats. If you opt not to give them your chat history, they will still monitor the chats for what they call abuse. So bear that in mind. But what if you want to keep your history but disable model training? OpenAI is supposedly working on a new pricing plan, but we'll get back to it later. In fairness, they do offer an opt-out form to disable the training. But if you go to the form, it says, Please know that in some cases, this will limit the ability of our models to better address your specific use case. So that's one big downside to this new announcement. But what's one secret upside? Well, there's an export data button buried all the way down here. If you click it, you quite quickly get an email, which contains a link to download a data export of all your conversations. After you download the file and open it, you now have an easy way to search through all your previous conversations, literally all of them, from the time you first started using ChatGPT to the present day. That's a pretty great feature, I must admit. But going back to the announcement, OpenAI said that you need to upgrade to ChatGPT Business, available in the coming months, to keep your history and ensure that your data won't be used to train their models by default. Anyway, they don't want to make it easy to opt out of giving over your training data. And that's not all. OpenAI is apparently rolling out a browsing feature for ChatGPT Plus users, which will let you connect ChatGPT to the internet pretty easily. This feature might be in testing because only a few ChatGPT Plus users got access to it. While we may not see GPT-5 anytime soon, it's amazing to see them building on top of GPT-4 and improving it. Hugging Face, the popular AI community that promotes open source contributions, has just released their very own chat platform based on the Open Assistant conversational AI model. If you're not familiar with Open Assistant, it's an incredible chat GPT alternative that's open source and completely free to use. You can now access Hugging Chat over on Hugging Face. It's completely free to use, and you don't even need to sign up for an account. You can head over to this page and start chatting right now with this AI assistant. Of course, we have to keep in mind that this model is still in its early stages and may not be 100% accurate just yet. But considering it was just launched a few days ago, that's to be expected. Even while testing it out, I found that it struggled with some of the questions I asked. However, given time, I'm sure this platform will grow and improve to become a great alternative to ChatGPT. Just when we thought Firefly couldn't get any better, Adobe has just released an update that will take your video and audio editing to the next level. This update is a game changer for anyone who works with video and audio applications. In fact, they just released a new trailer teasing their new set of tools, and it's looking pretty impressive. One of the most exciting new features of Firefly is its ability to color grade a video with just a few words. Yes, you heard that right. Anyone can now describe the desired mood and tone of a scene, and Adobe's AI tools will change the color grading of the clip to match what the user described. Previously, it would take hours for us to just color grade a video clip, but with Firefly, it's just a matter of seconds. With Firefly, you can create custom sound effects that match the clip that is being played and even create background music without spending hours searching for the perfect music or worrying about copyright issues. It can also create subtitles, logos, and title cards based on your description of what you want them to look like. But the coolest part is Firefly's new Generate Storyboards feature, which is an absolute game changer. With this feature, the AI will analyze your written script and sketch out an entire sequence of shots for you that you can use as a guide to shoot your clips. This is going to be a huge help for cinematographers who want to visualize their scripts and come up with unique and creative ideas for their shots. 
It's worth noting that for now, we've only seen Adobe's own demos of these features. It remains to be seen how well they will work in practice. The popular suite of creative AI tools, Runway, has just launched its Runway ML iOS app, and it's packed with some seriously cool features. With the new Runway ML iOS app, you can transform your videos into entirely new creations using any prompts, images, or presets that you choose. And the best part is, you can do it all right from your iPhone. The results that it produces is really impressive, like the demo video Runway posted on Twitter. It shows a person taking a video of himself and turning it into an animated video of himself using one of the presets provided by Runway. You can also upload videos from your photo gallery and choose from the various options the AI will create a cool AI-generated video for you. The various options Runway provides includes choosing from their presets, uploading a reference image to let the AI know how the video should look like, or typing a prompt and asking the AI to change the video into something you like. Now it's important to remember that sometimes the results can look a bit warped or disfigured. But don't worry, unexpected outputs are common with generative AI, and things will only get better from now. In a span of weeks, these tools will be able to create some really amazing videos that will leave you speechless. And if that wasn't exciting enough, Runway's text-to-video technology called Gen2 is teased on the app with a tag that says, Coming soon. This means that you'll soon be able to create videos just by typing in some text into your iPhone. How cool is that?